Okay, be honest. Does your Google site feel overwhelmed? We've all been there. But what if I told you some simple tweaks can make all the difference? It's time to ditch the boring and embrace a website that reflects your style. Tip number one, embedding Google Forms. You want to collect feedback, run a survey, or have visitors sign up for something directly on your site. Embedding a Google Form is the way to go. It keeps everything streamlined and looks way more professional than just linking to an external form. Let's demystify the process of embedding a Google Form on your site. We'll be working with some HTML code, but don't worry if you're new to this. I'll guide you through each step. All right, let's get started. First things first, make sure you have two things ready. A Google Form, you know, the one you've already designed and are dying to show off. Your Google Site, the place where you want to embed that incredible form. Have you got those? Excellent, here's what to do next. Ready to take the first step? Open your Google Drive and locate your form. Look for the Form option in the menu above the editing area. It'll have a number showing how many responses you've collected. Give it a click. Now click on Embed Form in a Web Page. A little window will pop up with some code. That's the good stuff we need. Go ahead and copy all of that code. Let's head over to your Google site. Find the page where you want your form to live. If you've got a one-page website, you're already in the right spot. Look for that Edit Page button near the top right of your browser window. Click that and you're ready to start transforming your page. Remember that code we copied? We're about to make it work for us. See the HTML button in the toolbar above your site. It has a little pencil next to it. Give that a click. This is where we can directly paste in code and tweak things behind the scenes. Now, find the spot where you want your form to appear and paste that code right in there. Before you freak out, hit that Update button. Now, you should see your beautiful form embedded on the page. Ta-da! Pretty cool. Tip number two, conquering different footers. This one's all about customizing those footers. Imagine giving each page its unique footer. Perfect if you want to display different info, contact details, or even just change the look from page to page. So, you've got this brilliant multi-page site, but the standard one footer fits all thing is cramping your style. Frustrating, right? Especially when you have specific content you want to show on particular pages. Don't worry, here's the solution. These little guys are your secret weapons. Find the spot where you want to switch up your footer and go to insert in your menu, then choose break and section break next page. This magically splits your document, making it ready for some footer customization. Here's a slightly annoying but necessary step. Go through and remove any existing footers and page numbers. We need to start fresh. With your section breaks in place, check your footer settings. See that little box for link to previous? Uncheck that. This is what keeps your footer the same across pages. Now, you're free to customize to your heart's content. Add your new footer content in each section. Change the text, add images, and include contact info. Whatever you need to make each page stand out. Tip number three disappearing pages, from navigation only. Sometimes you have essential pages but don't necessarily need to clutter up your main menu. It could be a work in progress page or something meant for a specific group of visitors. Whatever the reason, let's get into ninja mode with this hack. Here's the super simple breakdown. Look on the right hand side of your Google site editor. See that pages panel? That's where it happens. Hover your mouse over the page you want to hide. See those three little dots appear? That's your secret options menu. Click on it. You'll see an option that says hide from navigation. Click that and your page will disappear from the main navigation bar. Don't worry, it's still hidden from casual visitors. Want to bring your page back? The same three dot menu also has a show in navigation option. But now let's shift gears and discuss fonts impacting your site's look. The right font pairings can make your site feel polished, professional, and unique. Tip number four, Google Fonts and pairing it. Luckily, Google Sites makes exploring and choosing fantastic fonts easy. The best part, Google Fonts gives you access to a massive library of free, web-optimized fonts. Let me show you how to find them. First, ensure you have some text on your page. It could be a headline, paragraph, or anything. Next, find the text tool in your toolbar or open the text panel. See where it shows the current font name. 
Click on that and a drop down menu will appear. Google Sites has a few standard fonts built in. You can browse through the list and choose the one you like best. Remember, these standard fonts might not cut it if you're aiming for a distinctive look. That's where the entire Google Fonts library comes in. Click on the More Fonts option in that same font drop down menu. This is where the fun begins. The Google Fonts catalog will pop up. You can use the search bar to find specific fonts or the filters to narrow things down based on style. Take some time to play around and explore. See a font you like? Select it and it'll appear in the Added Fonts list. Once you're happy with your selections, click OK. You'll find all your new font choices in the drop-down menu, which is ready to use on your site. Now that we've explored how to find and add fonts, let's get into the art of pairing them. Look for fonts with enough difference to create visual interest, but not so different that they clash. Want a safe but stylish bet? Pair a classic serif font for headlines with a clean sans serif for body text. It's a timeless combination for a reason. Feel free to mix and match. Try a bold headline with a lighter, thinner font for body text. This creates a dynamic, eye-catching look. Does your brand feel formal and traditional? Try sticking with classic serif fonts. Techie and modern? Explore these sleek sans serifs. Let's see some examples. Bodoni and Railway. This is one of my all-time favorite pairings. Bodoni is a classic serif with an elegant, magazine-like feel. See how it has those distinctive feet on the letters? Let's use that for a headline. Now, pair it with Railway, a thin and modern sans serif. See how much easier it is to read a whole paragraph in Railway? This combination feels stylish, but it is super easy on the eyes. Want something a bit more fun? Try pairing a playful, handwritten style font for headlines with a simple, clean sans serif for your text. This brings in a bit more personality. Are you ready to try some other combinations? Here are a few more ideas. Roboto plus Montserrat, both sans serifs but with different personalities for a modern, clean look. Oswald plus Leto, a bold sans serif headline with a classic body text font. The best part about fonts is experimenting until you find pairings that truly reflect your site's style and purpose. Tip number five, spice up your site with Lottie animations. Do you guys want to add a little oomph to your Google site? Something that grabs attention and sets you apart from the plain text crowd? Get ready because Lottie animations are the secret ingredient. Unlike heavy GIFs or videos, Lottie animations are teeny tiny in file size. This means your site still loads lightning fast. Okay, where do I find these magical animations? Option one, Lottie files. It's like the animation Wonderland. Visit LottieFiles.com and browse their massive library of free animations. The cool part? You can even change colors and tweak them to match your site perfectly. Option 2. Made to order. Got a talented animator friend? They can create custom Lotties in Adobe After Effects and export them with a particular plugin. Ultra personalized style, here we come. Alright, let's add some Lottie magic. Open your Google site in editing mode and head to the page where you want the animation action. Grab the code. Pop over to the Lottie Files web player page, lottiefiles.com slash web dash player. Paste in the link to your perfect Lottie animation, either from Lottie Files or a file you have. Play with the settings, change the speed, whether it loops or plays on hover, and get creative. Click that copy button to grab the HTML code. Embed it. Back to your Google site. Click the insert tab, then choose embed followed by Embed Code. Paste that copied code right into the box, click Next, and boom, Insert. Your Lottie animation should now proudly show off on your page. Give it a preview to make sure everything looks fantastic. Bonus Pro Tips. Set the background attribute of your Lottie code to Transparent, so your website's background shows through. Seamless effect. Size it up or down. Start by giving your Lottie a good size in the code like style equals width 400px, height 400px. You can always resize it later within Google Sites. Use CSS to style the player itself. Change button colors, hover effects, and more for a you look. Lottie animations add a whole new level of awesome to those Google Sites. You'll transform your site into a super engaging experience with some HTML magic. Tip number six, makeover time. 
Give your Google site a whole new look. Okay, feeling a bit meh about your Google site's current style? Maybe it's a little too basic, or it doesn't quite scream you. Don't worry, Google Sites has your back with tons of ways to transform its look. Think of themes like pre-designed outfits for your website. Google Sites offers a bunch of them built in. Click the Themes tab on the right side of your editor. You'll see options like Simple, Diplomat, and others. Play around. Click on a theme and your site instantly changes its vibe. Want total control over every color, font, and button? Then it's time for custom themes. Do you have specific colors or a logo? Incorporate them into your site's design. Choose from tons of fonts that perfectly reflect your site's personality. From button shapes to the width of your website, customize until your heart's content. How to create your theme. In that Themes tab under the Custom section, hit Create a Theme. Give your masterpiece a name. Upload a cool logo or banner image to make it pop. Choose a color palette that makes you happy. Get picky about fonts. Pick ones that match the feeling of your site. Click Create Theme and boom, your custom design appears. Pro tip, want even more control? Click Edit next to your custom theme and tweak colors for specific parts of your site. Get ready for designer status. What a fresh new look can do for your Google site is fantastic. So get creative with themes and transform your site into a unique reflection of whatever you're building. Did these hacks help you level up your Google site? Then hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and remember to turn on notifications to get all the new tips. Share this video with anyone else who could use a website makeover. And if you've got your own Google site secrets, drop them in the comments. Be sure to check out my next video.